Okay, so we have our clown in our room. Then we just get our object wall. Now if you hold the shift button down and click and drag with the left mouse, you can just drag it and it'll place instances wherever your mouse hovers. Now, see how I've got two blocks here that didn't go in the spots that it's supposed to go. If you hold down the right mouse button and click and drag, you can delete them. Finally, we'll set up our background. So we come down to here and click red. And that's basically what you have to do. Finally, just name our room and give it a caption. This one will be Catch the Clown. Simple and easy. Down here you have your game information. You can just add in what you want there. That's just a bit of background for your game when you're giving it to other people to play. It's also a good spot to put your um, instructions on how to play the game. Global settings. Just some stuff for when you're trying to do more advanced stuff. But we won't go into that right now. Alright, so the game's pretty much done. Just want to run that by clicking the green arrow. Alright, so that's it for the first tutorial. The rest is up to you now. Okay, so I'm going to put this file here, which I'll save as Catch 2. Now, the other one is Catch the Clown. What I've done with this one is I've added the bad clown. So when you play it and you click on it, you'll lose points. I'm going to add this, the other tutorial, and the resources for both the games onto this site just here. That's our first tutorial. Thanks for watching.